Over 2,600 people made it to our first regional fly-in of the year in Salinas, California. Groups of campers came early on Friday afternoon to set up. The airport is surrounded by the nearby mountains, and as evening fell, crowds gathered for the Barnstormers party. There, they saw a showing of living in the age of airplanes. A cloudy Saturday morning didn't prevent hundreds from attending the pancake breakfast. As the clouds broke, the day filled with informative seminars, great food, and a high-energy aerobatic demonstration by Yuichi Tagagi. There were all kinds of airplanes. A bright orange R-44 caught the kids' attention. One of the goals of our regional fly-ins is to share the love of flying with the next generation of pilots. AOPA's Josh Cochran introduces helicopter pilot Terry Mead, who brought the R-44 to share her love of flying with the kids in Salinas. We're just trying to get um, kids and other people interested in the helicopter, but especially girls, trying to let them know that aviation is for them as well and that girls fly too. Like these kids in Salinas, Terry Mead experienced a helicopter for the first time when she was young. So my dad had a Cessna 152 and flew out of Hayward when I was a kid and uh, gave me the opportunity to go up into a helicopter when I was about eight. And I just said to myself, one day I'm going to fly one of these things. Terry had to wait 30 years to get a chance to fly helicopters. Her husband gave her a discovery flight as a birthday present, and that was the start of her flight training. I decided to go for it, and it was one of the hardest things I'd ever done, but one of the proudest moments when a year later I had my, uh, my private rating, and then a month ago I got my commercial rating. Terry says there are less than 5,000 female helicopter pilots in the world. She is working with San Carlos Flight Center to help change that through a program called Fly Like a Girl. We're encouraging people to learn about the history of it, learn about current events, learn about the possibilities. I bring my 10-year-old daughter so that she can really learn about what's possible for her as a future aviator. Terry wants women to recognize that they make great pilots. I actually think women probably make better pilots because we're better at decision making. We take fewer risks. Uh, we're a little bit more subtle in our movements, which is especially important in a helicopter. She also recognizes women have a lot to overcome to get into aviation. I think the hardest thing for women is uh, to get past the intimidation factor of so many men thinking that it's hard. There are things about weather and um, aeronautics and aerodynamics and uh, navigation and the things that maybe typically we weren't brought up to really understand. Despite all the barriers, Terry hopes women will take on the challenge and learn to fly. I think to not be intimidated, but to see it as a huge opportunity and a challenge and just take it on head on. And just know that other women have and girls can do it too. Good job. High five. Well, I'll take you almost yes. back over <laughs> Josh Cochran, AOPA Live. Thanks, Josh. The sense of community is always strong at the AOPA regional fly-ins. Chris Wang brought his two sons and was happy to get a chance to learn at the event. These types of events are just phenomenal for adults and children. We learn a lot. Um, the kids get a chance to come on out here and see the different types of planes, um, how they work, uh, and, and all that wonderful stuff. So we really learned a lot, and I know it's been great for the kids. The pilots also got a chance to hear what AOPA is working on during a town hall meeting with AOPA President Mark Baker. Mark stressed that third-class medic reform, well, it's still AOPA's top priority. He called on the members to help by contacting their representatives. Now, here's your job, your job. You don't have any of the senators from California that's on this bill yet, and you only have a couple, like three, representatives of this state are on board. So you've got to start writing letters. You've got to say this is an important part about aviation because it matters. The more letters that they get, the more phone calls they get, the more contacts that they get to say this is important, not just to you here and there, but your families, businesses, everything at the airport counts on us to grow aviation.